Hi everyone, I'm Patrick from Assembly AI, and in today's video, I show you how you can easily deploy your LangChain applications with a very cool Python package that uses Fast API under the hood. And in just a few minutes, you can deploy this with a production ready server wherever you want. In this video, I'm going to use Vercel where we can host our API for free. So if you follow this video in the end, you will have a live deployed LangChain application. So let's get started. So for this, we are going to use an open source package that is called LangCore and Langcorn allows you to serve Langchain apps automatically with Fast API, and you don't have to worry about writing the backend code yourself. So before we set this up together, and by the way, this is super easy, it just takes a few minutes. Um, let me go over the features very quickly. So as I said, it uses Fast API under the hood, then it easily allows you to deploy those apps. It even provides all functionality. Then you have the high performance fast API framework. You even have well-documented RESTful API endpoints. You can use asynchronous processing for faster response times. And this is all thanks to fast API. And the way you use it is you can pip install Langcorn. Then you write your normal Langchain applications and don't have to worry about the backend code. And then for example, you can start a server with this command. Or you can set this up in your code by saying from Langcorn import create service and then create your services that um, applies your chains here. And then you can start your Uvicorn server with this command. And this is all you gotta do. And it's no magic behind the scenes. So the code is not very long actually. The main important code is this api.py file. And here, for example, you can see it defines some data types for the requests and the response models. And then the important function is the create service function. And here for every service and every chain you define, it finds the input and output fields. And then for each um, chain, it creates a post endpoint with the endpoint prefix and then the slash run endpoint. So this is how it works behind the scenes. And now let's set this up together. So here I already prepared two Langchain scripts. And the first one is a simple example with an LLM chain that takes a prompt template and then applies a open AI model. And the second one is a more complex example where we use a conversation chain and we also use memory. So this also works. And now, of course, you can also run these scripts locally, but now we want to host this. And for this, we create one new file and let's call this main.py. And in here we say from Langcorn, we import create service and then we define our app. And here we call create service. And now as a string, we use the name of the, the file. So this is LLM, LLM chain, and then a colon. And then we need to use the name of this variable that we use for our chain. And this will then be run in the endpoint. So here we say colon chain, and then we can define multiple ones. So let's also use the second one. So this is called conversation chain and then colon. And here we called the variable conversation. So we need to use this as well. And now we can run this. So this is all the code you need to write. So in order to run this, you can now use this command, uvicorn main colon app. And main refers to the name of your main.py file and the app is this app instance. And then you also define the host and the port. And now you can see we have this running. So let's open this. On the home route, you will get details not found because this endpoint is not defined, but you can go to slash docs. And this is a cool feature from Fast API that you automatically get those documented API endpoints. And here you can see for each chain, we get this slash run endpoint, which is a post endpoint. We also have a health check. 
And then we can click on this and here you find information about the input schema, for example. So as you can see, we need to pass in a string that will be the product and it gets those information from the input variables from the prompt template. So Langhorn automatically gets the input and output fields for you. So let's try this out. We can click on here, try this out. And then for example, for the product, we want a ice cream as a product. And then you can click on execute. And now, as you can see, the response code is 200 and we get the output. And then, of course, you can also um, try this with a curl command or implement a front end. So whatever you want. So now let's deploy this to Vercel. And deploying to Vercel is also pretty easy. So for this, we are going to use the Python runtime with serverless functions. And this also lets you, for example, deploy Django or Flask apps. Here we have a fast API app. So for this, let's create a new directory and I call this API. And now let's move all the files into this new folder. And then we need to make a small change. We need to start all our service names with API dot and the same for the second one. And now let's save this. And now in the root directory, we need to create a requirements.txt file. And the only requirement here is Langcorn. This will then also install Langchain and Fast API and Uvicorn. And then we need to create a vercel.json file. And for this, we can find the code in the Langcorn repository. Here you will see the vercel JSON file. So let's copy all of this and paste this in here. And then let's um, change this so that it will correspond to our own naming scheme. So we call this um, main and then app and the source will be in API and then main.py and the same down here. So let's replace this and this is all you need to do. And now you need the Vercel CLI so you can, can install this with npm i minus g vercel and then you can simply run vercel and then it will ask you to log in so i always log in with github and now let's hit enter and then you will go through the process of setting this up and deploying this so i simply hit enter to keep the default settings to enter and now it will deploy the app and you see it is deployed. So this is the link where our API is now deployed and we can open this. And then again, the home route is not defined, but if we go to slash docs, then you see all our endpoints are live. And before we try this, we also have to set the open AI API key. So on my local system, I have this exported as a environment variable. And now we have to also do this in our project settings. So in your Vercel dashboard, go to settings and then you find environment variables. And then here as a key type open AI underscore API underscore key and then enter your value. I just did this and refreshed this. And now, for example, we can try the endpoint and then send again. Let's send ice cream and then click on execute. And now you see we get a response. So this is working. And here you can see the full endpoint where you can send your post requests to. And now you have a live deployed Langchain application with Langhorn and Fast API. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, then drop us a like and consider subscribing to our channel. And then I hope to see you next time. Bye.